Here is all the major things you need to remember about half dollars. I'm gonna tell you about valuable errors worth thousands, key dates, silver content, everything. So make sure you save this video. The first and most simple thing to remember is that any half dollar between 1965 and 1970 is 40% silver. And those are all about four or five dollars a piece. Next, we have the Kennedy half dollar from 1964. These are all 90% silver and worth about 10 to $15 a piece. Don't worry, I'm starting with the least valuable coins first and I'm saving all the valuable errors for the end. Next, we have NIFC half dollars. That stands for not intended for circulation. Any half dollar between 2002 and 2020 are much lower mintage than the rest of the half dollars and they sell for around like three or four dollars a piece. Even the 2021 has low mintage and is technically not an NIFC, but still sells for like two bucks a piece. Not a lot of people know this, but there's actually one from 1987 that is also an NIFC. Now let's get into the errors. One big error to look for is on 1972. You see the little FG between the tail and the eagle's leg? If you find one and those two letters are missing, it also needs to have a D-mint mark. Those sell for about three to $400. Now here is the major one. Back to your 1964 half dollars. Now you know they are 90% silver, but every one you find, you need to look very closely at the four. And if there's a little drip right there, here's another example since that last one was a little hard to see. Then you have a special mint set Kennedy half dollar. And the one I just showed you sold for $48,000. Every time you come across any half dollars, remember this video. And of course, make sure you like and follow the coin channel.